Hey guys, welcome back to Sweetie Darling. Today I am going to show you both how to make a squircle cake and how to do some fondant bubbles. So to start with, I've got these squircle ganache plates from the Cake Decorating Company. That is a combination of a square and a circle, if it wasn't clear. And with a layer of greaseproof paper between my ganache plate and my cake, I'm just building up and filling my cakes as usual. Now before I add the top ganache plate, I need to just trim my cakes down a little bit. So I need to take off the corners and anywhere that is overlapping the ganache plate. I'm going to use these plates to make the shape of the cake. So I don't want the cake to be overlapping the edges. Another layer of grease proof and then my top ganache plate and then I'm just using ganache to do my first crumb coat so this is just sealing all those crumbs in, getting a foundation layer on and then I put that in the freezer to chill and I do a second coat of ganache which neatens everything up and then use my scraper just to get rid of any excess. And again I will chill this before I move on to the next step. I then use a mini palette knife to lift off the ganache plate and take off the grease proof and some more ganache just to cover that side of the cake. I then scrape around that so the side stays nice and neat and the excess is pushed onto the top of the cake, chill it again and then I can easily cut the excess ganache away. Now I wanted this cake to be on its side and luckily with ganache you can manhandle it very easily. So I just use my hands to tip the cake onto its side and then again with the mini palette knife to remove the ganache plate. Some ganache to anchor the cake in place onto my cake board and then I just need to cover that back with more ganache. Again using my scraper just to neaten it up, trimming the excess off with a knife once it's been chilled. And then for my whole underwater theme I decided to paint with buttercream onto the cake. I don't know why, I've never done it before I suppose because I'm able to experiment with these cakes. It was just another experiment. Experiment. So I had some really dark blue buttercream and just used a paintbrush to cover up to where I wanted with the dark blue and it went on really really easily. I wasn't sure with buttercream going onto ganache but it was absolutely fine. Once I had my blue base on I then used my blue brush to pick up some white buttercream to go across the top of the cake and then I blended that white colour down into my darker blue so it looked like it was going from deeper sea into shallower sea. Now I did end up with some rough feathery edges so I just used boiling water on a paintbrush just to smooth those off. Now I use moulds for my seahorse and my seashells, so the seahorse mould is made by Marvellous Moulds, they have a nice ridge around the outside so you can push the paste in and then almost cut the shape out with a rolling pin or with your hand, you just want to work over it, get rid of any excess paste and I just as standard now tend to chuck my filled moulds in the freezer because it's so much easier to get shapes out, especially anything delicate like the seahorse's tail, it's just much easier to get it all chilled down and it will just pop right out. Same with the shells, I'm just making sure everything's dusted with corn flour, pushing the paste in and then each one of these is going into the freezer. And it doesn't need long, like 5-10 minutes is absolutely fine for this sort of thing. And then when they come out of the freezer it's just a case of loosening the mould off a little bit and pulling the shape out. So I painted the seahorse gold and then the seashells, I just wanted them to have a little bit of luster to pick out the detail. So I used a pearl white dust just to brush over it and it highlighted those nice ridges and all the lovely detail in the shell moulds. Now for the fondant bubbles I rolled out flower paste that was the same colour as my darkest buttercream so this is a nice navy blue and then I cut out a variety of different circle shapes so some of them were just small circle cutters and some of them were piping nozzles either the larger end or the narrow end of a piping nozzle. Now for the first layer of paint for bubbles it's a white outline to the circle so I just painted each circle cutter with white paint and then pressed it onto the same size flower paste circle that I'd cut out. Now the next step is to use different colours to build up all those lovely colours that you would see in a bubble. They can really be any colours, you get the whole spectrum of rainbow colours in bubbles, so just whatever you want to go with. I've seen them with purples and dark greens and dark blues, really anything will work here. So to start with I've chosen pink paint and you just want two lines on each bubble on opposite sides of the bubble. And I used a smaller paintbrush for my smaller circles as well. So then I'm adding blue highlights to the ends of my pink lines. and then I've got a pale green I'm going inside the lines with. And again, this isn't anything specific, you can be inside the lines, you can be on top of what you've already done. So this is now white where I'm going over some areas that I've already done. Then I'm using yellow just to add another line just inside. and then a very pale pink to do some chunkier lines over everything I've already painted. So it just gives it that nice full bursting bubble effect. And then I'm flicking some white paint over just to make them look extra bubbly. And I wanted this on the main cake as well, so it just looked like this lovely, bubbly, ethereal underwater scene. 
the next the seahorse goes on so I'm just sticking these shapes with a little bit of water and then building a base of shells and really this was just to cover the bottom of the cake up at the front of it if this was for customer I would do this the whole way around but it's not it's literally just for YouTube so <laughs> just do the front the bubbles I also stuck on with water I just worked my way up to the top and then I decided I wanted to extend above the top so I inserted a skewer and I just used some ganache to stick these bubbles to the skewer and then I used water to stick some extra bubbles to the cake. I used the tiniest ones I'd made just to dot around, just to give more of a bubbly effect. And that is it. That is how to make a squircle cake with fondant bubbles. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I'll link to everything that I use below. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I will see you next week, guys. Bye.